All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Game Breaker Creations, where we are checking out another Planet Zoo map. This one is Narnia, and it is uh, the other Narnia map that I was talking about. Um, this one is a lot more in-depth than the other one was. Uh, the other one focused mainly on the Ice Castle. This one has a more overall overview of the Narnia story. Uh, as it progresses and uh, we're going to check out all those different areas in this map um, it is by blubber and uh, trooper matthew it's a collab build on steam so uh, if you want to find this or the other narnia map just type in narnia on steam and you will find both of these maps so uh, got a lot to cover within this map uh, you start off in the room uh, the spaoom, as they uh, say in the in the movie, uh, and uh, you've got the the detailed entry right there. Uh, this is where guests enter. They go through this forest. You can see they're all freezing cold because it's it's winter time, and uh, they would not think to give them parkas, uh, so they are freezing. So yeah, lots to cover. Um, let's go over here uh, while it lags because there's so much on here with all the snow that's why I don't actually like using snow on my maps uh, is the snowflakes actually do cause a lot more lag uh, so you've got the ancient ruins here um, off to the side uh, and that leads into this cave um, which leads into Tug uh, there we go Tumnus's house uh, which this one actually has the details for Tumnus's house. Uh, it's got a lot of different stuff within it. Um, so yeah, you can just see all the different areas of his of his house. Um, uh, as well, they've included Always Winter, Never Christmas. Um, I've got this umbrella out there, uh, and then uh, yeah, you can just. You can see already the the detail and care that's been going into this. Uh, there's the lamp post that is referred to in the books uh, as well. Um, you can see a scene where a couple of animals were turned into statues, um, and uh, if we move on from there, you can see there's Beaver's house. This one actually does have a little bit of detail in Beaver's house. So you can see there's some stuff in there. They are celebrating Christmas. Um, and then it goes under. And then there's details in this underground tunnel that they use to escape in both the books and the movie. Um, so we'll just get back up to the main, main level here. Um, and so you can see that comes out at the frozen edge of the, the frozen dam that they have here um, so again a lot of detail that they've put in a lot of care and and uh, thought into all the different various areas um, of this map um, and this one here if we go inside again it's another cavern shelter here uh, in the ice uh, this is a sea otter home, um, but again, you can see there's there's a lot of detail in this uh, area here, and move over. There's another river. Um, now there is as well. Um, we're going to come across um, part of their their Narnian camp uh, here as they have their their encampment um, there's going to be an even bigger encampment that we are going to get to as well over here uh, this is yes an even larger encampment that we saw in the war scene um, of course it wasn't winter in that scene in the book or the movie uh, however this you can't really delineate uh, different weather for different areas uh, and then we have the battle scene where they've put together 
all these uh, characters getting ready to battle. They have both sides ready uh, here. And, uh, and you see the eagle flying in there as well, or the Griffith. Um, and uh, yeah, there's the castle over here as well. Uh, this is not the ice castle. We will get to the ice castle. The waterfall even has more of those uh, Griffiths He's over there. Um, this is their castle here, uh, of course, for the, the main characters. Um, oh, I, the name of the castle is slipping out of my head. I want to say it uh, starts with a C, I believe. But anyway, uh, if you know that, you can put it, go ahead and put it in the, in the comments. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you can just see all the, all the care that went into this as well. Um, they've got the inside parts, um, uh, of the castle. They have different details for different parts of the castle. Um, but yeah, lots, lots to think about here. Um, as we go through here, uh, you can just see again, there's more detail here as you go through the side wing, which leads to the throne room, which has a golden Aslan sit, uh, sitting there. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Narnia books and the Narnia series, so uh, this map definitely had me kind of geeking out over all the different details. Uh, and here is another area, which I missed the first time I went through this map. Um, but when I went through it a second time, I did find this. And this is the subway station underground uh, that they again put even more care and concern in. And uh, they did a C.S. Lewis quote here, which is, uh, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. Uh, and then they've signed it themselves uh, as well, you can see. Uh, so really, really cool that they've got this subway under here. And again, um, I missed it the first time I went through. Um, and just so you know, that piece count on that subway is massive. So um, it would have taken them quite a bit to make that um, a lot of copying and pasting, I'm imagining, as they went through. Uh, and then in behind this waterfall, there's uh, another cavern in here. This one, my kids kind of got uh, amused by because it has a poop emoji that is roasting marshmallows um, with a dodo and uh, another, I'm not sure what that is even supposed to be, but uh, that was another little thing that I missed the first time I went through if I ended up finding it when I went through with my kids and uh, they were very amused by it. Um, and now we will head over to the, the encampment for the witch and her, um, her group. And then we have the castle over here as well. Um, and I thought there was, and somewhere around here is Aslan's table as well. Um, it said that inside that one building um, over there. And, uh, but anyway, you go into the castle here, you can see there's the frozen animals um, and uh, towers and everything that went in here. And then you go inside the castle, there's more habitats and stuff in here, um, side rooms, um, the witch's throne room. And yes, you go over here, and there is another habitat um, which we can follow underground. And then it comes up off to the side of the castle. If I can get through the wall. And we will go over and uh, see the side part of the castle here. They have also created 
Um, and I believe that below this there was um, a scene for the polar bears. And there, I believe there was an underground viewing. Again, there's two maps, so it's harder to remember which is on which. Um, no, that's not the area I'm thinking of. Just want to find. As I know there was more to this map as well. Um, encampment. Ah, there we go. That's for Aslan's table. Um, up on top of this mountain here, you can see it's got that broken. They did that in the ruins uh, scene. Aslan's table is, of course, an important part, and the whole path up to it is led up with different weapon stashes or little mini mini scenes um, that you'd see and that overlooks the entire map so yeah a lot of really cool detail again i said it before but that went into this map just a lot of care and thought that has gone into all of this and uh, just very very impressive uh, you can see another shelter here. Um, that was another another house um, from the movie, I believe. This cavern. Yeah, that's a staff quarters. Um, but yeah, so awesome map. Encourage you to check it out. Um, you can find other areas in the map that I have um, maybe missed. Um, like Santa's, Santa's sleigh there for when he comes and uh, gives the kids their, their gifts. Um, but yeah, lots of lots of amazing things that have been done in here. Really, really impressed uh, by the work that Blubber and Trooper Matthew have done, and uh, the amount of of care that they put in to every little detail and every little part of this amazing map. So check it out for yourselves. Uh, just search uh, Narnia on the Steam Workshop and you will find this and then you can check it out and the other Narnia map uh, for yourself. Uh, now we're gonna go to the Steam Workshop. I will show you what it looks like in here. Um, so this is their, their page here. You can see you need a lot of the DLCs for this. Um, this part here and uh, they've got a little expert type thing here they've put in about Narnia and uh, what they've done here we're going to give it an award as we always do uh, and uh, so uh, in here we can give them treasure as I think this is a map that is full of little treasures so there's the award. I hope that they enjoy the award, which will of course get split between them as it is a map that they have co-opt. So check it out. Encourage you to do that. Thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.